Semi selects India's most desirable. Like all of you, I saw him on screen and the romance began. Like all of you, I can't say job we met because I've never met him before. <laughs> but I know his talent is indubitable. His looks scream heartthrob. Charismatic and eligible, Shahid Kapoor, you are India's most desirable. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on my show. Pleasure, thank you. Like I said, you know, we've never met and talked before. Yes. So along with my audience, I'm going to try and discover you. Sure. You come from a film family. Yes. Your parents are actors, yes. artists. Why did you choose to take the outsider's route of a struggler to get into films? I honestly, I think the biggest trap for anybody who's from, from the film industry uh, or whose parents are from the film industry is to become an actor or want to get into the industry simply because it's available to you. Um, I wanted to see whether I could prove myself and, and, and that was very important for me to see if I'm actually capable of being an actor rather than just doing it because I've seen my parents do it. You went through auditions, rejections? Yes, I got rejected I think more than 200 times. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. And uh, I meet all those guys who rejected me now with a big smile on my face. Of course. <laughs> You know, when women are asked what they find most desirable in a man, sensitivity tops the list. And you, in your roles in Jab We Met and Viva, filled that bill perfectly. So I want to ask you, how similar or dissimilar are you to that? Um, they were beautiful characters and, and I connected with them, I understood them and probably learned a little from them as well. Maybe I'm not completely the same person, but there is a part of me which is in there. Yeah. In my mind, you're still Aditya Kashyap <laughs> of Jab We Met. You are also deep and soulful. I hope so. I believe I, I, so. Yeah, I, I think, I'm sure I am at some level, yes. He was an introvert. Yes, he was. Are you? I, I am socially shy, yes. I you, think, yes. It's socially shy. Yes, it's taken me a very long time. I still, whenever I go out publicly, it takes me a few minutes to kind of be myself. I'm socially very shy. I'm to the point of saying that I'm socially uncomfortable. Mm. I've really worked hard over, over the last seven or eight years to kind of come across a lot more. Like people used to think that I have an attitude or I, I don't, I, you know, things like that because I was just shy. I didn't know what to say and I didn't know. I felt like I'm going to make a fool of myself. But you know, shyness is very often mistaken for arrogance and yes. attitude. Yes, yes. Aditya Kashyap was also disillusioned with love. Yes. Shy is not. No, never. I don't think one should ever be disillusioned with love. Um, I think you go through good relationships, you go through bad relationships, you go through moments where there's nothing better than falling in love and then you go through moments where you feel like why the hell is there anything called love which exists because it's so painful. How many times have you been in love? That's a difficult question. It is. You know, I can't answer that because um, all the times that I wasn't in love, um, yeah, no, I can't answer that. That's a dangerous question to ask the guy. No, I every time, every time I met a girl, I fell in love. Whether I was three years old or every time. It was true love. You said once that I have fallen in love twice, but... Uh, no, no, more than that. Much <laughs> okay. more than that. Much, much more than that. Now, I'm talking I'm about serious grown-up love. Okay. That hasn't happened yet because I don't think I've grown up very much. Oh. I'm still growing up, yes. So I don't think that... Serious grown-up love, what is that? Love? When two mature people fall in love, no, that hasn't happened to me yet. Shy. One of us have always been immature now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. No. The mature love that you're talking about, I haven't had that because that would be for keeps. Do you really think love can be for keeps? I think it's possible. I think um, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you don't. Um, sometimes you let it go, sometimes you don't work for it enough. So have you felt after the relationship is over that this wasn't really love? Uh, no, I think that would be discrediting the relationship. Sure. I, I don't think I would ever take away what a relationship gave me because it didn't work out. Every relationship was beautiful in its own way um, and probably lasted as long as it was supposed to. You had a four and a half year relationship, which is a long time in today's age. Yeah, it is, I know. Like, yeah, four and a half years is a very long time. There's so many more options in life. I don't know what I was thinking. 
<laughs> okay, but tell me something. Is there a pattern in the kind of women that you choose? No, they're like from there to there. I'm telling you, mm. all kinds of girls. I have no reservations. <laughs> but in the past, you have had a pattern. Have I? What is yes. that pattern? Most of the girls you have chosen yes. uh, have all been extroverts who speak very entertainingly, who mm. express their feelings. And lovers don't always have similar personalities. Yes. But are you attracted to that kind of a person? First, let me let me just be sure think of the fact. Think back on the girls. I have, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm think, talking yeah, about. Yeah, no, it doesn't take away. Very few. It's not just the personality. I think for, it's it's much more than that. I think you actually love someone after you understand them as a person and you see the real person. Um, but maybe, yeah, maybe I like girls who talk a lot. So. You know, men, they say, don't really operate so much from their feelings and emotions. Uh, do you express yourself? I've learned to do that. You know, I was told a lot that I don't say anything. I just keep quiet and I keep it all inside. And then I understood that, no, girls don't understand when you don't tell them. You need yeah. to spell it out for them. So then I started spelling it out and it helped me. In general, boys speak less and girls speak more. <laughs> Is that true? See, they all agree with me. All, even the girls agree with me. See? Who do you think today has redefined their status to become a symbol of desirability? They have changed their Scarlett look. Scarlett Johansson is extremely desirable. She's the one woman that I think is just... You lust speak. for. I love her. Okay. We know that Shahid is <laughs> eligible. He's desirable. Is he single? I've gotten into a lot of trouble speaking about oh. my status, so... Oh, you mean there's somebody in your life? No, the fact that I'm single or not. Um, okay, are you available? I'm always available. If you have my number, I'm always available. Is it okay to be single? It's great to be single, because then you're always available. <laughs> Do you enjoy being in a relationship? Yes. Um, and then when you get out of it, you enjoy not being in one. And then you start missing a relationship, and then you get back in one. And then you wonder why you got in one, and then you get out of it. And then you start missing it again. Yes, till you find mature love, that's what keeps happening. Which we're still looking for, right? Yes. Okay. Because but Scarlett Johansson is really far away. I know. Well, lucky for you. Because otherwise you'd have to commit. Uh, you've been in relationships, as I said, with very gorgeous women, beautiful women. Yes. Could you truly ever fall in love with a simple, ordinary girl? I think the best thing for an actor is to date an ordinary, simple girl. Because it kind of brings back a certain amount of normalcy into your life. It kind of opens your horizons, but the chances of that happening are very limited. Okay. So if I was to match make for you, hmm. you'll have to tell me what you want in a woman. You have the right person. You just need to get her for me. She's no. just a little far away. No, I, I Why think... Why do you not like Scarlett? I think an Indian woman would suit you better. That's true, actually. Eventually. I don't see you very comfortable with Scarlett. Why? You'll be attracted to the first day and the second day and then later on you'll say, Hindi ni Uske baal dark kar denge. I'm not going to fix your marriage with Scarlett. I'm telling you. Think I'm about it. Consider maker. it. No, I'm the matchmaker. Don't be maker. closed in your head. I will look for an Indian girl. Okay. To begin with, I think what's very important is comfort. Yes, it's very important to be attracted to the person that you're with hugely because you have to spend your whole life with them. I've, I've seen a lot of old couples who still get jealous when their partner talks a bit too long to somebody else and I think that's the that's cutest sweet. thing. I think yeah. it's beautiful. Um, so when I see that, I, 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 I feel like I wish at, uh, you know, 60, I'll, I'll still be telling my wife, why you talking I not Apart from that, everything else that Scarlett has can fit the bill. But you, why are you always going for a firangs? Where am I going for? I've never dated a firang in my whole life. Unse mila nahi na main. To mat milne ki. Wo hamesha ek hota hai that you know, yaar wo hota na to kitna acha hota. But you haven't met hota lots of Indian girls. Look at the boys. Look at how fast they're shaking their heads. They're like, yeah, you're so right, dude. You haven't even met the girls in my audience. It's I said started. I'm open to all options. Isse zada main kya apne aap ko matlab? I am such an understanding guy. So you girls out there who have all the options <laughs> and who fit the bill. Small warning, he already has a woman in his life. Coming up next. There was this small little uh, puny, uh, you know, unassuming French fellow was following me around. But before he could really say anything much, Shahid just came in, in the middle. And he was six years old, okay, mind you. And he just came in in the middle and he says, Excuse me, sir, before you talk to her, you have to deal with me. I can never <laughs> forget this. He was six years old. You have to deal with me. This is my mother here. Welcome back. Yes, I'm discovering the charms of India's most desirable, Shahid. And I'm doing it all for you girls out there. Shahid, 
Who would you say you have been closest to in your life? Both my parents. I think I'm very, very close to both of them. You spent uh, your first growing years, as you yes, said. Yes, more with mom, much more with mom. Okay, I want to introduce Shahid's producer, his mother, Neelima Azim, Tathit dancer, actor, and a lot more. Absolutely. She had me very, very young and we were like friends. I was always hanging around with her uh, when she was doing her stage performances. That was something mm -hmm. I used to love doing. Uh, while she was dancing on stage, I'd be sitting on the side and, and you know, fully dressed up in my Indian kurta and churidar pajama and all with my hair pushed so back cute. and I'm sitting there and observing what my mo mother's mm. doing, which I think was awesome. At the very first time when he was a very small baby, I remember when he came to uh, see my concert, you know, um, he was sitting, um, watching the show and I heard this, the moment I entered, Mama, and I can never forget that feeling that I was, oh, okay, he's there watching my show. There was a lot of friendship and a lot of fun in it, but uh, the child and mother bond was also immensely uh, there. Always is, I think, uh, especially because it was, she was like a single parent and uh, so, you, and she was very young and uh, yeah, so we were very close. Yeah. So you were very young when uh, your parents divorced? Yes, I was I think three years old and uh, we stayed in Delhi till I was 10. Um, so till I shifted to Bombay, me and dad used to meet very rarely. So did you grow up uh, asking, wondering, asking questions, why, why, where's dad, why don't I see dad? Uh, Maybe, maybe very early. I don't remember all that much. You know, one had figured out the fact that things hadn't worked out between your parents and that was something which was normal. I was very fortunate because my uh, grandparents, my mom's parents, my maternal grandfather was somebody who I was very, very close to. And um, he really spoiled me. And uh, so, so that was good. But yes, obviously, you, uh, I miss dad, got to see him less. And, but I think, uh, you know, as a kid, you instinctively understand things and you learn to adjust. And uh, that's how it was. I didn't... Uh, feel weird about that. I just missed that. I missed getting to spend as much time with him as I, was, as I would want to. Uh, but, you know, it was But you okay. didn't know him. I knew him. I could recognize him from far away as well. That's all. But it wasn't like uh, how it is now. Now it's, of it's, course. it's very different, yes. Of course. And now you're working with him as well. Yeah. It's not an easy uh, place to be in actually because with him being, in my understanding, the best actor in this country. Surely. Uh, it was... I mean, the first few days I was quite nervous. He understood that. I think he understood the fact that I would be coming in with a few nerves and he took care of that of uh, very, very kindly for me. Um, and I think we're very similar. And that's the one thing that I, that I find so beautiful about nature. That they say, jab kehte na, that you've got your parents' genes. I hardly spent any time with my father in the no. first few years and I'm exactly like him. It can't have been easy for your mother because even though you may have the support of the family, when you're a single, divorced woman bringing up a child, mm -hmm. It's hard. Of course, of course, I'm sure it, I'm sure it is and there's, I, I don't think anybody can understand it but, but her. Yeah, but she never made me uh, feel that. Uh, she was very good with that. She kind of always showed me that life is beautiful, it's all good and, and, and I think we, we both kind of made the most of whatever we had. We made a little world for ourselves which we were very happy with. It's a feeling that matters and she made me feel happy. I did not bring my sob stories home. And I think that's extremely important because the breakup is yours. The choice of having a child is yours. You make a choice, you get married, it doesn't work out, you separate, you do foolish things. You can't inflict that on your children. And I do have personally a sort of naughty, uh, happy, vivacious, joyous temperament. So, and my children are also like that, both of them. So I don't think we had too much of that martyrdom happening. Which I'm, I think is right. Shahid, did your mother ever tell you about what she was going through, her kind of personal turmoil or did she not? We were friends. So, I mean, we kind of spoke about everything. Um, I spoke about how I felt, she spoke about how she felt. Something so personal I want to share here with you is that when he was only four years old, I mean, obviously there, was, there were moments when uh, at night I used to, you know, sometimes... Uh, uh, let go of the pain and the fears that come along with the divorce, especially when you're as young as that. And I remember that uh, I was, he found me crying maybe at, at some late hour at night and he took me on his chest at four years and he said, Mama, why are you crying, you know? I mean, literally that film came, but he said, Mehuna. And I don't know, from there onwards, I, it, just, it just hit me that he's there with me, you know, and there is nothing to worry. Even now? 
you're still there for her. I hope I am. Um, but when you become an adult and when you start working around the clock, I always live with the guilt that I don't give enough time to my family. There's never enough time. Yeah. So I hope I'm there for her. I, I hope she hasn't complained about me. Chayad was a tremendous support and he was just there for me, you know. Like I just walk out from the airport after a long, uh, difficult shoot, say out of town and the first thing I'd see was Shahid standing there or if I'm sick and I'm in the hospital, his hand is always there in my hand. You're very protective of her. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's natural. Yeah. That's I was the eldest son, so maybe that's why I always felt responsible. Hear what she says. I went performing to uh, Belgium and uh, just before the performance, we were walking around, you know, having a great time. And there was this small little puny, uh, you know, unassuming French fellow was following me around. Yeah. And Shahid noticed this. <laughs> I didn't. And I remember a little while later, this fellow, he most probably, you know, picked himself up and he came over and he was just asking me out for, a, you know, maybe a, a cup of coffee or something. But before he could really say anything much, Shahid just came in in the middle and he was six years old okay mind you and he just came in in the middle and he says excuse me sir before you talk to her you have to deal with me <laughs> i can never forget this he was six years old you have to deal with me this is my mother here yeah that happened and uh then uh, we ran that's how he dealt with me yeah we ran you yeah. ran on oh, nonsense <laughs> like, mom let's go He's too big for me. Maybe after a few years, I'll bash him up. But let's <laughs> run right now. That's really beautiful. I love this story. I have seen lots of kids who have had divorced parents. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have seen how complicated their lives became. Yeah. But you have come out of it so amazingly. Um, life threw a lot at me very early in life. Mm. Um, I mean, I was, my parents got separated. I came to a new city. Something that I had to learn to accept mm. and make the most of. And uh, that's probably what's made me the person that I am today. You know, I, I, don't, uh, I don't expect anything good or bad from life. I, I let whatever come, come my way and, and I make the most of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have two beautiful families instead of one. That's how I choose to look at it. I asked your mother. Hanji. Uh, this is what she said. I'm sure that he must have gone through a journey uh, on the psychological and emotional um, base where he must have faced a few demons within himself. But Chahid has a way of figuring things out. He works a lot internally and spiritually on himself. And uh, I wouldn't like to make it all picture perfect because uh, when there are breakups and there are divorces and homes fall apart and people separate, it's very painful. So Chahid has seen a lot, but um, I think he's come through tremendously for where he is today and how he is. Uh, he's sensitive, he's soft, he's, he's funny, uh, and he's extremely independent. And I'm terribly proud of the way he's come through a lot of uh, difficult phases in our lives, to put it, you know, gently. Did uh, seeing uh, parents separate ever change uh, your perception of love, marriage, and happily ever after? No, strangely, actually, this is the first time I've thought about it, as you mentioned it. I've never ever thought about it. I mean, like, for me, it's very basic. Two people who want to spend their lives together and who love each other come together, and sometimes they're able to make it work, and sometimes the differences are too large and you can't make it work. Yeah. And I see both those people find happiness in their life today and they're happy with where they are. You can't be together for somebody else's happiness because that's just not good enough. You have to be together because you want to be together. And it comes across, children are very, very sharp, you know, and if this, like I, I see, if there's any tension in the family, a child is the first, first to feel to it. Sense it. Yeah, so you can't hide it from a child. Yeah. And the best thing is acceptance is better than denial, definitely. True. You have stepbrothers and a stepsister, and yet you are all one close family. You love each other. Yeah. This is inspirational, Shahid. There are a lot of people who would have cut away, cut off, gone into drugs, made excuses. I came from a broken home. Yeah. Uh, this happened in my childhood. That's why I'm like this. But you've held it all together. Yeah. I think it's absolutely fantastic.
another thing that fascinates me about you is that you spent your first 10 years brought up in the Islamic faith. Oh, uh, no, I was never forced to follow anything. Yeah. My mom is Muslim, my father is Punjabi. Um, and uh, they both allowed me to go everywhere. Like I, I visited temples, I have visited uh, mosques, I have visited churches. It must have brought a lot of spirituality in you. I think when you go through difficult times in life, yeah. that's when God comes and kinds of, kind of reminds you of His presence. And that's what gets you through. At least for me. I mean, in the most uh, lonely moments and in the moments where you're totally alone and you yeah. feel there is nobody else who can help you but yourself, there is somebody else who comes there and makes you feel like he's there. And to me, that's God. I'm getting to see different sides of Shahid. <laughs> and I think so are you. Now we're going to see the fun side. So come back because Personality Cafe is next. Welcome now to some fun and frolic. Penalties and prizes. Guys and girls, it's time for Personality Cafe. Now is the time when the audience gets to ask you questions. All right, you're ready? Yes, absolutely. For the onslaught? Yes, bring it on. Okay, so bring on the truth bucket. Rajvi. Hi Rajvi, how are you? Like always, you're looking damn, damn, damn cute. Thank you. My question is, uh, I know you're a strict vegetarian, but would you like to kiss a girl who's a non-vegetarian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I like her, uh, then yeah, why not? Thank you. Thank you. Jagruti. Hi, Shahe. Hi, Jagruti. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I have to literally pinch myself because I seriously can't believe I'm standing in front of you. Oh, I won't sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's the most romantic thing that you've ever done for a girl? What are my secrets you guys want to know, yeah? <laughs> These are my moves. I'm not supposed to talk about them in public. There was this once with Miss X, because we won't take names. It was my girlfriend's birthday and I had booked a yacht and created fireworks wow. and done dinner and uh, yeah, so we spent the entire time there and yeah, it was quite nice. I wow. think that was beautiful. Wow. Gosh, you're romantic. I never knew he was so romantic. Yeah. This is brilliant. Now we've also got a romantic, eligible, desirable. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shahi. Thanks a lot. Love you a lot. Thank you. Thank you. How cute is that? Shikha. Hi, Shahid. Hi, Shikha. How are you? I'm really glad to be here in front of you. I really, really like you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, my question for you is, what does a, an ordinary college student like me have to do to get a kiss from you? Ooh! Nothing. You got a kiss from Shahid? Oh yes, I did. And you're also going to get a present from me. How about that? Oh my god, I'm so happy. Your Thank lucky you. day. <laughs> okay. Here is the personally autographed hamper. Thank you so much. For your beautiful and healthy skin. Sonu. Woo! 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 Just in case. Clear Woo! 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 First of all, uh, very best of luck for your next movie, Mawson. Awesome. Thank you. Man. Okay, I have one question for you and one request for you. Which female actor which you, uh, with whom you don't want to act with? In our industry, Bollywood industry. I can't do this with you. I can't give you the answers. I have to give a penalty. Penalty! 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 
Sorry, penalty time. Yes, penalty time. Shahid will have to mimic somebody. For oh us. God, I can't mimic anybody. I give you a choice, audience's choice. Either Amir or Sunny Deol. Which oh would God. you like? Sunny Deol. Agar Sunny ya pe hota, to uska dhai kilo ka hat. तुझको जरूर लगता सोनू आई हैड वन क्वेश्चन एंड वन रिक्वेस्ट फॉर यू वी ऑल यू वांट टू सी योर मून वॉक्स वंस प्लीज ना ये जूते करेक्ट है ना ये फ्लोर करेक्ट है पर मैं ट्राई करूंगा ये इधर ऐसे Mastan sir. Sir. Hi hey, Shahid, how are you? Good man, how are you? I love your hairstyle man. Thanks buddy. <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I try a lot to do that but still I can't. Thode lambe kar le abhi chote hain. Ha, thode lambe karna hai mujhe. I would like to ask you one question and my question is, name a director who you think is not straight. <laughs> oh, yeah, kya kha gaya aaj tum log? <laughs> पेनल्टी दे दे यार ये तो मैं नहीं आंसर कर सकता ना इतने शरीफ क्वेश्चंस पूछोगे तो क्या करूंगा मैं ओके आई कांट नीड्स अ गाय आई कांट इवन टेल यू टू डू डांस विद यू योर डांस विद मी यू वांट मी टू टर्न यू अराउंड लाइक अ गर्ल आजा टर्न हिम अराउंड लाइक अ गर्ल आजा टर्न कर दूसरी साइड जा अरे टर्न कर यार ऐसे आजा अभी तेरे को मैं रोमांस करूंगा ऐसे नीचे गिर जा नीचे गिर जा नीचे गिर जा You're the first boy that I have uh, danced with so closely. <laughs> I must say, it's a, it's a special feeling. I'll never forget you, brother. It's a lot. Thank you. Jahan, Jahan. Hi, Shahid. Hey, bro. What's up? You're my role model, and it's my dream to be like you, Shahid. Thank you, man. Shahid, uh, I've just been dumped by a girlfriend, and I'm quite depressed. You definitely need a role model. Yeah, continue. <laughs> बोल किस लड़की ने किया तेरे साथ ऐसा कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट्स द बेस्ट वे टू गेट ओवर हर यार मैंने एक पिक्चर की थी उसमें एक सीन था आई थिंक वो बेस्ट वे है उसकी फोटो ले आग लगा पॉट में डाल फ्लश कर दे मुझे बहुत बेटर फील होगा मैं ट्राई कर चुका हूं इट वर्क्स वन स्मॉल रिक्वेस्ट हम मैं नहीं मैं नहीं कर सकता कैन यू जस्ट गिव मी अ हग Surabhi. Hi Shahid. Hi Surabhi. You're looking awesome Thank today. You. Thank you. Did you ever want to marry any one from your previous relationships? All of them. Seriously. <laughs> Every time, shaadi wadi, bache kitne honge, kaha rehenge, sab plan kar liya tha. All family planning. Huh? All done. Family. All done. All family planning. All done. I thought she's asking me. All done. <laughs> Request. Yes. Can I have an answer with you? Yes, of course. Please. What do we play? ऐसे 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 वाला प्रेज़ ऐसे ऐसे और हम एकदम close आके फिर ये वाला step करेंगे ये turn करेंगे ऐसे है ना जैसे उसने turn किया था तूने better turn किया था और हम ऐसे 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 Fabulous. Sasha, do you think I'm more beautiful than your last girlfriend? My last girlfriend? Yeah. I don't even remember who she is. Who was she? 
You don't remember her now since you met me? Not at all. I don't remember anything since I met you. <laughs> We've travelled from your childhood. Yes. Shall we now travel to your future? Really? Would you like to? Yes. Have a glimpse of what lies ahead? Yeah, sure. Okay then, I'm going to bring on the tarot. Hi. Pleasure. Come and sit down. Thank you. Okay. Before we start our tarot, I'm going to just need to borrow your hands for two seconds just to take some energy. It's an excuse, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you need to just shuffle the cards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're quite good at shuffling. I need a hat. Great gambler. <laughs> okay, uh, why don't you pull seven cards with your left hand, please? Do I need to turn them? Yeah, you can oh, turn I them. And just take two cards out together. Yeah, any two that yeah. you like. So you've got the card of Knight of Cups, which represents you, loving, emotional, caring, sensitive. As I never a human won being. even one cup in my life. No. <laughs> it's a different cup. This is the cup of emotion. Page of Swords says new options, new opportunities coming your way in terms Scarlett of your Hansen, career. she's coming here. I'm telling oh. you, she's going to come here any moment. <laughs> Not if so, I can help it. The woman coming in your life will be the Queen of Cups. Very loving, emotional, caring, sensitive, supportive towards your career. Do they exist? Yes, they do. <laughs> I had forgotten. <laughs> they do. And then you've got the card of six of wands, which means the next relationship, as in whichever one will be in a long-term series, will definitely culminate into marriage. Because somewhere there is a thought of marriage, maybe in the next one to two years or three years. You're very set that you want to get married or if it happens naturally, you're quite happy with the fact. But you don't want to force anything on tape. When is he going to meet her? When is he going to meet her? 11, 12, 13. 13 days from now? <laughs> no, we're talking about years. Yep. So. I'll meet her 13 years from now. No, 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 no. Either in the year of 2012 or 13. Yeah. You'll be single so, for another year. I can year. chill out for a year. You can chill out for a year. I'm available for a year. And post which your marriage cards have appeared. Because oh. you've got the card of King of Coins. How much is this man? How much is this man? How much is this I don't know what I'm saying. This is my hallo. I'm going to go to the next one. Big look. All the boys in the house, please check out what happens after marriage. Please. Accept it. This is all our reality. No. The lady looks so chilled out. Look at her. She is relaxing and she is sleeping and she is chilling. And the guy has grown a daddy and he's gone out there to get work. Band is going to be a band. So, yeah, basically. Very intelligent and somebody who travels a lot. Okay. She'll have a profession. Yeah, could be she could have a profession in which she travels. I have no problems with that. And um, would you like to know anything else about your marriage, your love life? No, no, this is too much information already. <laughs> I'm totally thrown off. I need a few hours of singledom to like come back to normal. Yeah. So you, your marriage period only happens after you meet her, basically. <laughs> So yeah, Obviously, but you, I can't marry her before I meet her. Yeah, but there'll be an instant like chemistry or attraction and yeah. you'll know that I'm really attracted Are to her. Are you serious? I'm serious. Yes. So that's okay, lovely. lovely. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Pleasure. you so much. That was very thank nice. You. Thank you. Now, Shahid, I know you've had a lot of beautiful girlfriends. I don't think you've ever had a girlfriend like Kiki. She's very sweet. She's very loving. You do adore her. But she's a little silly and she's a little insecure, like a lot of girls are sometimes. So we need to know how you would handle Kiki. Hi, Kiki. Hi, Shahid. Oh, you sound wonderful. Shahid, I know I've asked you ten times before, but I just want to know, how much do you love me? The most in the world. But how much? Too much. Too much? Even I don't know how much I love you. You don't know? It's so much that I can't, I can't feel the entirety of it. Kiki loves you. I am so happy that Kiki loves me. Shahid, aren't you happy with Kiki? I am ecstatic. But it's you like don't... somebody gave me an adrenaline shot right now. I'm so, I'm so excited about it. But you don't look very happy. You know, when you cross a certain amount of happiness, mm -hmm. you reach a state of Kwan. It's like this. <laughs> okay, Kiki says. 
Sasha, do you think I'm more beautiful than your last girlfriend? My last girlfriend? Yeah. I don't even remember who she is. Who was she? <laughs> you don't remember her now since you met me? Not at all. I don't remember anything since I met you. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki loves you, Sasha. <laughs> Kiki's bought you a... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Kiki's bought you a, a purple and black spotted jacket. Wow. And she says, wear it for your premiere now, darling. Of course. You'll wear it? Yes. Can I only wear the jacket and nothing else because that's all you bought me? <laughs> yeah, purple's my color. You have no idea how good it looks on me. You will wear it. <laughs> Only the jacket. <laughs> I'm telling you, this film's going to open so big. <laughs> After I make that appearance in that jacket, it's going to be... You're so lucky for me, Kiki. You have no idea. Kiki loves you. I was on the front page of every paper the next morning. <laughs> yeah. Sasha, hmm? why do you give gi lifts to strange women? I don't give lifts to strange women. You do. Which strange woman did I give a lift to? See. No, no. Who that, is she? She isn't a strange woman. And actually, she's giving me a lift. Oh, she gave you a lift? Yeah, my car broke down and I told her how much I loved you and how much I was missing you and I needed to reach you really fast. And so she gave me a lift to drop me to you. But did she drug you? Did she drug me? You're looking Kiki, drugged. you know I don't do drugs. But look at you. Oh, uh, that's me messaging you, Kiki. Look oh. at that, I'm looking at my phone and I'm messaging you, telling you that I'm on my way. Look at that. Such a genuine, nice expression. With so much love in my eyes. With that smile only for you, Kiki. Isn't that a love bite on your neck? Ready? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. No, no. Who gave it to you? Who gave it to me? Yeah. No, no, it was always there. I was born with it. It's a birthmark. <laughs> You sure that girl didn't give it, na? It's a birthmark. How can a girl who I met at now give me a birthmark which I've always had? But are you sure it's a birthmark? Why didn't I see it before? Uh, uh Kiki, because uh, you were busy looking at other things. <laughs> <laughs> like my eyes <laughs> and my nose. Yeah. Kiki loves you. Oh, I love Kiki. <laughs> can I have your hand, Kiki? Kiki. Love you. I'm very glad you're back. You glad they're back? Ecstatic. <laughs> you look it. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to ask you a small favor. Ji. Okay, this is for charity. If you could please just draw a self portrait of Shahid Kapoor, mm -hmm. we can auction it on our website and it'll go towards helping the less privileged. Okay. You ready? Sounds wonderful. Oh, lovely. Thank you. buy this Shahid and keep it forever with you, please go onto our website. You know that it'll go for a great cause, so bid generously. Thank you so much. You've got to know Shahid today. Isn't he the perfect son? Yes. Isn't he deep and soulful? Yes. Is he fun and entertaining? Yes. 
Do you love him now? <laughs> More than before? Yes. Is he the perfect object of desire? Yes. I think so too. Shahid, you have everything that a woman would want in a man. And I want you to keep this trophy from us to always remember this day when you were voted India's most desirable. Thank you. With our love. Thank you.